our 2018 financial goals are shot. We're really only going to achieve our first goal. So it's time to reevaluate. So in the last couple of months, we've decided not to move because of the addition of new loans and some other stuff that's going on. So most of our 2018 goals were based on the fact that we were leaving and we were solidly leaving. I mean, when I made the declaration and I said, we're moving no matter what, I will tell you, I've made that declaration three other times every year we're moving and we never move. So something always seems to come up to keep us here. So we're staying, but we need to start dealing with this new debt that we have. If you remember our first goal in January of 2018, it was to pay off the Navy Federal Credit Union loan by August or September of this year. Our very first and most important goal for 2018 is to pay off our Navy Federal Credit Union loan. And we're still on plan to pay it off in September of this year. So once we pay off the Navy Federal loan, we will immediately move on to paying off the credit card. And then we're gonna add in the TONTS loans. <laughs> <laughs> Your leg doesn't lift that high. <laughs> Mauricio being obnoxious in the background. Ignore him. I spent an evening one night this week redoing our snowball and plugging in the new loans and where they're going to go in the snowball. And we come up with two options. But before I get into that, let me tell you how much they are. As of today, they have not been finalized. So that number will change, but for right now, this is what we're working with. DO student loan is $19,358.33. And TS student loan is $16,938.15. So we have two options for paying those off. We can just roll them into the snowball where they go, or we can plug them in where we want. So in the snowball order, our debt payoff will go like this. I'm gonna need my glasses for this. We'll pay off the Navy Federal loan in September of 2018. <laughs> we will pay off the Navy Federal visa in November of 2018. <laughs> we will pay off the car loan in January of 2019. Yeah. Okay, you can't say we will pay off Tia's student loan in May of 2019 and Tio's student loan in August of 2019. <laughs> Am I in your way? Well, yeah. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm going to hit you with my microphone. Then we'll move on to the personal loan, which will be paid off in December of 2019. The USAA loan will be paid off in May of 2020, and the Mauricio school loan will be the last thing that we pay off, and that will be paid off in November of 2020. Or plan B, and we're going to call this debts I hate order. You know, the debt snowball is supposed to be because it motivates you. And I feel like the debts I hate the most order motivates me far more than anything else. So that would be we pay off the Navy Federal Credit Union in September 2019, the Navy Federal Visa in November of 2019, the car loan in January of 2019. So up until this point, we're paying exactly the same things. This is where it changes. In the debts I hate order, we will next pay off the USAA loan, and that will be paid off in August of 2019. Then we will pay the personal loan off in December of 2019. Then we will move on to Tia's school loan, then Tio's student loan, and then Mauricio's student loan. Either way, we'll be snowballing through our car loan. So we don't really have to make any decisions until we've gotten the car loan paid off. So January 19-ish, we will have to start making our decisions. It doesn't really matter which order we pay it off because our debt-free date is exactly the same. It's really up to us. And sure, Dave says the snowball 
But there's a reason why we would do the debts I hate way. Mauricio is now thinking about going to graduate school. If he goes to graduate school, I absolutely vehemently refuse to take out a school loan, period. So we need to free up as much cash again as physically possible. So should we move out, we can live and cash flow graduate school and pay off debt all at the same time. That's a lot of money we're gonna need. The big loan that we need to pay off quickly would be the USAA loan because that minimum payment is $1,186.60. So by paying that off, we free up almost $1,200. The next one would be the car loan because that one's $465. But really the rest of them are two in the $200 a month range. So just paying off one or two others of those is great and they don't really make a huge impact. So the big impact is the USAA loan. So basically we need to have as much paid off as we can by next fall, should he decide to go to school in the fall. So in the fall, that'd be like September range. If we do the debt snowball, we will have freed up an additional 260 for the Navy Federal visa, 465 for the car loan, 200 for TO's student loan, and 150 for TIA's student loan. So if we do it the debt snowball way, we will have freed up $1,025. But if we do it in the debts I hate way, we will have freed up $260 for the Navy Federal Visa, $465 for the car loan, $1,186.60 for the USAA loan, which will free up $2,011.60. So in that same amount of time, we will have freed up almost exactly double the amount of money. And we will have super motivated ourselves because we will have paid off the debts we hate the most, putting us in the best possible financial position to pay for graduate school is ideal. And if he definitely decides to go, we're going to have to start saving up some money for it. So life. So I'd love to hear your opinion. Do you think we should pay it off the snowball way where we'll have a thousand dollars additional available? Or do you think we should pay it off in the debts I hate way? where we'll have $2,000 additional at the end of a year. Let me know down in the comments below. So I don't know what we're gonna do, but I'll see you in the next one. See ya, we're out.